Top searches and the hashtags being searched is what people are curious about. This is what people are searching and paying attention to. So the top three trending topics in Google and whether these topics are indeed raising the vibration of the planet or indeed lowering it. The number one most searched and trending item is the Dodgers. Number two is Jeanette Reno and number three is 50 Cent Lil' Kim. So the vibration by which you are living is important for your own well-being. Maintaining a positive high vibration is key to attracting good things into your life. But there's another vibration that will have an effect on you, unfortunately. The vibration of our planet itself. This is the average of everyone's vibration in the entire world. The job of the light worker is to help to increase the vibration. I want you to be aware of what people are paying attention to. In order to determine this, I turn to Google. Now let's see how high vibe or low vibe this is. Number one, the Dodgers. Okay, so the Dodgers. I know that this is a baseball team, but I know basically nothing else. I have never been a big sports person, although I do like to watch my own boys play hockey. Popular in search was an article in Sports Illustrated, MLB. Its title is Max Scherzer and the Dodgers finally close things out. Okay, okay, so close things out. What things? I don't know. <laughs> Well, apparently the LA Dodgers have been trying to get ahead of the Giants all season. I guess that's another team. This Max person, who they lovingly call Mad Max, sprinted from the bullpen to secure the save. Okay, so I never understood the hype behind sports, honestly. I realize why I focus so little on sports. I see sports as highly competitive, and of course they are. Competition to me has always felt really unnatural. I love cooperation, creativity, and common good. And I do see competition as opposing these things. But based on Darwin's theories of evolution, they seem to be valid. Most compelling is at the root of our genetics with the strongest traits surviving. It's a competitive thing on a cellular level. We are bred to be competitive. I'm not aggressive like that. I like to make sure that we all have a tie and we are all happy. They don't call me the positivity princess for nothing. Okay, so this next trending topic is Jeanette Reno. Again, despite watching the news more and more often these days, I still don't know who she was or who, you know, what this was about. So I did a search and in the most popular search, I found this headline. Okay, so Quebec singer Jeanette Reno hospitalized after fainting. So this is in the Montreal edition of of the ctv.ca news. It seems to be mostly a quick summary of her recent medical issues. It appears that she is rather well known in the French speaking Canadian community though. She has 40 albums and she has performed in sold out concerts. She seems to be well known and well loved. And well, she was telling her fans not to worry. This overall is a positive message. So this is definitely raising the vibration of the planet. The last of the top three searches in the Google is 50 Cent Lil' Kim. Okay, I know these are both rappers and entertainers. I know they're both well known and famous and successful. I had to dig a little to see what happened between them recently. Okay, so I assumed that they were dating or something similar as they are in the same field. Um, you know, they're both entertainers and they're around the same age, but he apparently has a girlfriend and she has a husband who she is happy with, if Lil' Kim is married too. So I dug some more. Okay, so he calls her a leprechaun. <laughs> he posted a video of her with her hair dyed green and backing up in a performance um, on stage. And then he followed it with a clip from the film Leprechaun with the creature backing out of a cave. So she reacted somewhat gracefully, but she also was still surprised that he would publicly mock her, berate her. There's no reason for this, and I agree. If he wants to interact and engage, there's so many positive ways to do this. Honestly, are we not past this kind of bullying? So I laughed because I heard the word leprechaun and I thought that was funny because I saw that movie and thought it was ridiculous. In hindsight, I wouldn't laugh at that. So 50 Cent, your behavior is definitely low vibe. What you're gonna need to do 50 Cent is give a high vibe apology. Okay, so that's it for me. Comment below your reaction to any of these situations, any of these trending things in Google. Comment below, I do not claim any negative energy from this Google trend. Have a lovely day, guys. I love you and A, be positively happy. Mwah. See you in the next one.